Hey Star Wars fans and action figure collectors, what's going on? Welcome back to another, another, not a review, another video. Um, so a little bit inspired. I had a, I did a live stream earlier today. Uh, July 26 is the date to 2021, and had a bit of did a bit of a live stream with uh, JC2224, and uh, just sort of breaking down the uh, the the recently announced Clone Wars. Um, figures that are coming to the vintage collection based on 2003's uh and 4's uh Gendy Tartakovsky's original Clone Wars series um so I'll quickly flash up a picture of those vintage card backs on the screen and being that they're all uh sort of repacks basically um you know, I'm all for it because there's some cracking figures and I have the figures here majority. <laughs> um, so I thought I'd actually just go through one by one briefly and sort of talk about each of these figures because they are, some of them are from the vintage collection that haven't been out for a long time. So figures like Ayla Secura is going for a lot of money now, um, both loose and carded. Um, Luminara. She came out in the 2013 uh, three and three quarter inch black series when that kicked off. Um, and her soft goods has caught a little bit of a uh, dust. Um, and so yeah, Barris Offie came out in the vintage collection back in 2011 or 2012. Uh, she was VC 51, so it could have been late 2011, potentially early 2012. Um, yeah, so great figures um, I have here. Arc Trooper Commander, um, who will be coming out in one of these forms. I actually have both variants. I recently spoke about having this one on one of my recent live streams, the Phase 2 of Captain Fordo, um, which is what the Arc Trooper Commander is based on. And I'd completely forgotten that I'd actually dismantled this figure um, just to have a standard red clone commander. Um, so I actually had all the parts to rebuild this guy into the phase one Captain Fordo. So I've done exactly that and uh, We'll talk about that afterwards um, In terms of the other art trooper uh, the blue art trooper. This is probably uh, one of the earliest ones we've had uh, this would have been from the 2003 uh, Realistic style Clone Wars line. It's if memory is not if memory serves me correctly um I don't think he came with this blaster rifle. I've given him that myself. Um, but yeah, it's it's a weird sort of old clunky figure. There's waist articulation. There's no knees, no ankles. Uh, there's like a swivel above the elbow. So you can't actually get him in any sort of good gun holding poses. <laughs> and he's just a little bit awkward. Uh, his ball hinges at the, uh, at the shoulders. Uh, but he sits in my Republic attack shuttle. So... He's simply a display piece for me, but he looks cool. Um, so we're going to get a slightly different version of this one as well. And I'll talk about it as we go. So like I said, they are sort of getting a repaint, bit of a paint deco upgrade, oh, upgrade, I say that. Um, but they're going for sort of a slightly more basic sort of animated uh, color scheme. So we're going to sort of see them drop back to sort of basic colors. I think the face details and stuff will still be there. Um, but yeah, this is, this is Barris. Um, this is an absolutely fantastic figure. Um, you know, I would have reviewed most of these back in the day, but that's, that's a long time ago now. Um, we're talking 10 years since I would have reviewed these on my channel. Um, but yeah, this is a, this is a great figure. Um, can pop off the hood. He's got a weird, really long neck, but uh, yeah, it's nice and tight on there, so I'm not going to worry about that too much. Um, but yeah, the the hood is actually a separate piece to the cape, and the way the sort of cape sort of drapes and falls to the ground, that sort of she's quite a sort of slender figure underneath. She's got those little boot details as well, but that actually acted as a bit of a support for the figure to stand up. So, you know, it's great to have her re-released. And, uh, you know, I, I normally do complain a little bit about repacks and repaints and stuff like that. But the artwork to actually put, like, animated stills 
on the cards for the, for these for these four fi figures that are coming out um, is a lot different to what they've done with the 2008 Clone Wars sort of figures where they've sort of made them a bit more realistic and put realistic style photos on the cards as well. So the one I did forget is a battle droid. Um, we recently did get that one in the vintage collection, uh, a repack wave recently. So it's the same battle droid that's been out for a few years now, um, only in a slightly different color, just to sort of match that color scheme. But yeah, this is a nice close up look of Barris. So Luminara, like I said, this is uh, from 2000 and uh, the legs, the, the, the foot stamp on the date stamp on the feet says 2012. So I imagine that stage she probably was slated to be released in the vintage collection um, before they moved, decide to move on from that. So I do have a little bit of blue tack in there. I don't think I ever actually reviewed this figure. Um, sort of around that 2013 is when I sort of had a little bit of a break from YouTube. Sort of going through some life crap. And uh, yeah, I would have got that figure around then. Um, so I don't think I actually ever reviewed this one. So if you'd like to see an individual review, um, I'd definitely love to do it. But uh, yeah, I'm going to try and my best to give you a pretty good look at it now. Um, yeah, so I imagine this figure was originally destined for the Vintage Collection, so it was great to see her finally get her arrival. So yeah, if Vintage Collection had a continued pass, that sort of early 2013 uh, mark, we would have seen we would have seen Luminara join, join the ranks. Um, and this is a pretty great version of, of uh, Luminara. I feel like I called her something different before, but uh, yeah, she's, she's great. Again, sort of a slightly dainty, dainty figure. She doesn't have any sort of ornate details on her legs, but the uh, the sort of st strap tabard sort of thing that comes down here is great, as well as on the uh, arms. I like the way the sort of sleeves sort of drape down, the elbow joints are sort of tucked in there. It's really nice. Uh, they've used this fabric kind of fabric a few times on like Darth Mauls and I think probably a Palpatine and some others. Sort of almost a rough, rougher looking material good texture to it though a nice close-up look and it's sort of hard to get the get the hat to sit straight yeah, nice nice details on that one so we're talking Ayla Secura this is a another fantastic figure again from the vintage collection it's got a sort of force Force Persuasion hands, which is good. Or well, that hand, which is cool. Yeah, really nice, really nicely sculpted. I don't think color-wise this one's going to vary too much um, because she is blue. You can't do her a different color, but they may just sort of change the uh, color of the of the browns a little bit. I haven't paid too much attention to what the figures actually look like. I've been more excited about the card art, to be honest. Um, so whether I actually pick them all up is... Uh, is another story I'm not sure but um yeah for those that never got Ayla Secura the first time and looking for a reason to pick her up because she, like I said she has become quite expensive over the years and uh yeah very recently gone up absolutely skyrocketed so Hasbro's doing the right thing by uh getting some of those harder to find figures back out which is which is really good Yeah, Ayla is fantastic, and uh, I'd love to see her sort of make an appearance in the Black Series as well. I think that would be a fantastic addition. I dare say she'd be on the way at some point. So now we get on to the clones, and I'll finish with Fordo, but I want to talk about this one here. So... What we're basically getting is these blue markings um, on a standard phase one clone like this. Um, so yeah, he'll be coming with basically on this clone body. It will basically be a blue version of this photo here. So we'll take a look at him in a moment. So he's gonna have the same pauldron, um, which is, you know, slightly different in design. Um, same with the uh, sort of the, the Karma here, um, but it's going, they're going soft goods with the blue, which is great. Um, and they're giving him the same two pistols that were given to 
phase two photo here. So um, despite even the picture of the card has him holding this, the Ark Trooper uh, blast rifle here. So I'm definitely going to get that one and do a straight swap out for this blaster. I mean, I've, I've probably got some spares too. So um, I don't know, Adam, uh, JCC, he, he's, he wants to get at least 10 of the, the new one, <laughs> which I don't blame him. Um, I guess the one glaring difference here is they're sort of sticking with this plain first one sculpt and uh, yeah, Adam made, it, made me aware, I didn't even consider it, but um, you know, this, these Ark Troopers have the sort of different gauntlets, you know, their arm, um, much like the Ark Troopers in uh, the Clone Tro Clone Wars, the Clone Wars, not Clone Wars, um, that have recently been released, you know, you could have easily just used them as a retool body. Um, and have, you know, some of the paint deco from this style and put it on those new art troopers. And it probably would have worked out just as well. A um, little bit of kit bashing and retooling and stuff, but yeah, there's just some ever so slight details on this character that aren't going to be followed across onto the new version, but that's okay, that's fine. It's not, not a major problem, but yeah, just wanted to point it out that, you know, not, not super accurate and, uh, but again, it looks, looks sweet on the card, so I'm not going to complain. Um, and yeah, I'll pop, this is one I definitely want to get. So, so yeah, we have the clone here and, uh, you know, more than likely it will have the sort of generic clone, uh, Bodie Taylor sort of esque face sculpt underneath. That'd be my bet. Um, and yeah, this is, you know, the phase one clones are just the amazing, amazing figure. You can put these out year after year and, uh, you know, I've only got a half a dozen of them, but I'd love to get an army of these phase one clones. They're just so, such great figures. So he's going to look sweet, but yeah, onto Fordo. So when they released Arc Trooper Commander, as uh, in air quotes, back in the vintage collection, um, they gave you two options. So you basically got the phase one, which is this guy. He's got his longer rifle. Whether he come with that, I can't actually remember. Um, but I don't, I don't think so. I think I've given that to him later. But he has an individual head sculpt underneath. So that's, that's Fordo. And he's definitely got the uh, similar Bodie Taylor look, but maybe like, you know, they talk in Bad Batch about, you know, first batches and, you know, this guy's probably been around for a few more, for a few more battles and, you know, he might have been out in the first lot of clones, so he might be a, a first batcher. Um, but yeah, he's got this sort of circular pauldron on the top, sits around. Um, these holsters will be all grey when, when they come out. I've, I actually painted them up white a few years ago. I wanted the belt to match. Um, just wasn't too keen on the grey, so I've managed to take away most of the paint. I do need to just sit and uh, take some of that paint off of it as well, just to tidy this figure up a little bit. But yeah, it's a, so the blue one we're going to get, the Ark Trooper, is basically going to look like this one, which is uh, the Captain, sorry. I did say Commander, um, which is basically... I believe Fordo becomes a Commander afterwards, so... So I thought I'd show off the, the Phase 2 version, so it doesn't appear to be getting this helmet, um, this extra sort of strap belt accessory with the one holster, but will come with these two blasters. So again, have got that Fordo head underneath. And uh, yeah, I'm a big fan of the Phase 2, but I love the Phase 1 as well. I think they both look absolutely awesome. So um, yeah, we're, we're in for a treat with these figures, guys. I mean... I mean, let me know in the comments below what ones you're most excited to excited to see. Um, I know Black Series is getting a few additions to the line as well. Uh, General Grievous, Mace Windu, and uh, this guy here, Fordo. So Black Series is going to get this this version of a clone in you know, big six inch scale, and that's gonna look fantastic. I personally would like to see him phase two more so, but I'll take it. Um, love some more phase one dudes. And Mace Windu had a reasonably um, 
had a pretty cool look in it in the Clone Wars, and I'm pretty excited to see what they do with General Grievous. Um, given that his, his style in the uh, Clone Wars behind is, uh, you know, quite different. So yeah, that's that's basically the video, guys. I wanted to just sort of run through these and share a few thoughts and, uh, you know, just sort of preview some of these figures that are going to come out next year, I believe. Probably first quarter next year, if not probably in the spring. Uh, for you US folks, uh, autumn slash fall for us down here in the Southern Hemisphere. Um, yeah. Let me know in the comments what you think. Uh, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do. And you can send fan mail to my PO box if you, it's something you'd like to do. Um, that's all in the description below. I also have a Redbubble store with some merch, so you can come and check that out and get some cool t-shirts that I've actually designed myself, as well as just my channel logo. So definitely come and check that out when you get a, f a spare moment. And uh, yeah, thanks again for tuning in. Till next time, may the force be with you, always.